I trained with Coach last September until December, and I at first you don't really notice that he's an autistic coach. I just came in, trained, and and didn't really notice anything at first. But Coach was actually the one driving me home after practice, so that's when we started chatting, and I'll learn more about him and his life. And the more you talk to him, the more you like you do notice some of those autistic quirks. He is a little bit more like no filter and will just kind of say what he feels and and personally I really do like it because I would say it allowed me to have more of a connection with him because I knew there was nothing he was holding back so it made me feel that I could just say what's on my mind and it didn't really matter anyways um but when I trained with him you know I noticed that what he would do is kind of really put it into a more logical process less of like a oh just feel it out or like or like find where it is like for you he would kind of know exactly where to go and it would kind of be like a puzzle for him and I think personally for me that helped me figure out exactly what to do and where to you know maybe put different uh, parts of my body or put different uh, like kind of amounts of force or leverage and I think that the way he taught was, you know, very methodical and allowed, you know, less of a just subjective experience of learning jujitsu and allowed me as a beginner to learn the foundations of it from a trusted source exactly how he saw it. Um, I think beyond that, he had a regiment that tried to incorporate many different areas of the sport itself. He, of course, wanted the technique, but also knew that you needed some levels of flexibility, needed that you uh, had some levels of agility, and were just always thinking of, of what to do next rather than, you know, kind of going to do something and then forgetting how to transition from there. And... I thought that because I had a wrestling background, he really knew exactly what I would be good at and tried to use those to my advantage. He would maybe have me try takedowns more and, and try to finish on top more rather than kind of play from bottom a lot, except he was really good at trying each different position you could be in and making sure the students knew exactly where to go from there. So I think that overall he was a really great coach and I really enjoyed my time training with him.